Hey guys, welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about Claude Code and how, in my opinion, it seems like it's genuinely back. Now this is Quotely, this is a project that I've been working on for the, about the last three weeks and I was having some real problems with Claude Code while they were buggy. So I moved over to Codex and it worked for a little bit and then I started having problems with Codex as well. Now one of the biggest problems with Codex, in my opinion, is it's not as good at running things itself, running Docker, getting everything running, et cetera, et cetera. Whereas Claude Code just seems to be much better for that system. So let me just show you what I created yesterday and I'll just explain to you guys why I genuinely think Claude Code is back. So let me just log in here so I can finally log in, which by the way, Claude Code fixed for me. And then yesterday, what I was working on was this right here, which is the instant policy comparison. So what I can do is I can upload a declaration image for a insurance declaration, and then I can process it and I can press process here, and what it'll do is it will use AI to actually read this uh, policy document and extract all of the information. Now, this was created with Claude Code yesterday through quite a long process, I have to say. It did take a little bit of time, but Claude Code did manage to absolutely smash this in the end. Now, you can see it did take a long time. It took a few hours of coding, to be frank, and it took... You know, I was I was just playing video games at the same time and I was just kind of letting it run. I was playing RuneScape with my with my best friend. And eventually, after I added the Playwright MCP, it started to really get an idea of what was going on. Playwright MCP, absolutely vital if you're using Claude Code because look, it just kept saying, it's correct, it's correct, it's correct, it's correct. And I was like, look, use the Playwright MCP. It's logged in, it's not there. And then you can see here, I can see the dashboard is loading with the declaration upload document is not showing. The back end is also connection refused errors. Let me check the back end is still running and then verify the front of the code. So eventually it got everything running and it just kept running through fixes. I wasn't even giving it any feedback. I just said it's still not working or, you know, fix it, fix it, fix it. And then eventually we got to the point where we could process this document with AI. So you can see Jane Doe, City, um, 2008 Ford Explorer, which if you look at the document here, you can see 2008 Ford Explorer. And then you can press get multiple quotes, right? And then you can do this and you can see the turbo rate of payload becomes um, the information from the document I uploaded. And I can press run quote here and it will send the, the user's uploaded information from the image to our insurance quota, turbo rater, and it will actually find quotes, right? So if I scroll down here, you can see carrier one, total 1,200, term 1,200, monthly 200 quoted. So that's equity insurance company, and then progressive insurance comes back at exactly the same price. So this entire process I built with Claude Code, but it wasn't me telling Claude Code what to do right? You can just literally see, I'm not telling it, I just kept saying I'm getting load failed, or this kept happening, etc, etc. And it didn't just make things up, right? It genuinely coded a fix to the issue. You can see it's not hard coding things, it's genuinely fixing things. So right now, while I'm making this video, I also have um, Claude Code running with Grove fixes. And I just gave it a load of bug reports that users had given me. And I put them into Claude Code, and you can just see that it's just running now. So yeah, this thing where it makes genuine fixes to problems, like you can see here, this is just not something that, you know, two weeks ago was actually happening. Now let me show you another thing they've added. This is actually a pretty cool update from Claude. You can write UltraThink now, and you can see it changes the color and everything. So you know that it's genuinely making a change. You can see thinking on max, right? So I put it on ultra think mode. So once you've got it on ultra think mode, what it does is, and this is another theory that I did have about a week ago when I said codex was significantly better. It's also because we're not using thinking mode on Claude code. Like I rarely use thinking mode. So you say think and it goes blue. What does it think a lot? Uh, no, ultra think is like the, the big one and then i'm not sure what the the medium one is but it's pretty cool that they made it so you, it actually changes the um the the tokens right i do actually really like that not the tokens the color 
So now you can actually see if you're telling it to ultra think, you can see ultra think thinking on. So it's less like ultra think meme and actually genuinely ultra thinking. So I wanted to talk about this, guys, because I think two weeks ago, I wouldn't have been able to fix this entire script, whereas now with Claude Code, I was able to. So yeah, guys, honestly, um, I know that I've been talking a lot about Claude Code recently and saying that Codex is better, but it seems like Codex has degenerated and Claude Code is kind of back. So I did talk about this the other day in a video, this one here, a post-mortem of three recent issues. It seems like this might have actually had more of an effect than I said it would have in the video that I made. It genuinely seems like this has had a good effect and it does seem like Claude Code might actually be back, which is massive because like it's been pretty frustrating to just have to move away from Claude Code because I really, really did like Claude Code. But I'm going to be I'm going to be genuine. I'm going to be honest with you guys right here, right now. I think it might be back. OK, probably not to the point that it was at the very beginning, but I did renew my two hundred dollar max subscription yesterday and um, we are using the max plan again. We are using Opus and I didn't regret it yesterday. It really, really fixed quite a large, complicated issue, added a new feature to Quotely, which, like I said, is a project I've been working on for a little bit of time now. And I'm genuinely impressed with the results, okay? I'm not just bullshitting you. I'm not just going to write Claude Code is insane in the title or anything like that. I'm being genuine. I want people to know that, in my opinion, Claude Code is feeling like it's back. Now, I'm be, I've been using UltraThink. Um, I've been using MTPs. You can see I've just got the Playwright MTP here. But um, in this conversation, for example, I have uh, Playwright, Uptash, and Superbase. This combination of things allows me to basically do anything on Grove. And yeah, if I needed Superbase here as well, I would probably add it. But yeah, this is this is my workflow. I actually stopped using Codex. I noticed, well, first of all, they rate limited me finally after using it for three weeks. And then second of all, it did actually seem like something's happened and, it, and it's degenerated a little bit and it's not as good as it was. So maybe their servers are, uh, are having issues. We don't know, but seems like this is always the case fighting over who is the best when people think you're the best make you make yourself worse to save money and hope no one notices and then your competitor comes along and makes themselves the best and then today i would guess anthropic is going to release a new model i think they're famous for releasing on tuesdays if i'm not mistaken so i'm genuinely expecting a new anthropic model today and I'm hoping it's going to be absolutely crazy. But yeah, honestly, Opus 4.1 is doing a great job. I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.